Hi there, young math whizzes. Ready for a multiplication challenge? Jump into our Math Quiz for Kids channel for 20 exciting multiplication questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe to join in on the fun. Question 1. 6 times 6 equals what? So the answer is 6 times 6 is 36. To calculate, we have 6 groups with 6 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 36 balls. Question 2. 7 times 7 equals what? So, the answer is, 7 times 7 is 49. To calculate, we have 7 groups, with 7 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 49 balls. Question 3. 9 times 7 equals what? So the answer is, 9 times 7 is 63. To calculate, we have 9 groups with 7 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 63 balls. Question 4. 9 times 2 equals what? So the answer is, 9 times 2 is 18. To calculate, we have 9 groups, with 2 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 18 balls. Question 5. 8 times 4 equals what? So the answer is, 8 times 4 is 32. To calculate, we have 8 groups with 4 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 32 balls. Question 6. 3 times 8 equals what? So the answer is, 3 times 8 is 24. To calculate, we have 3 groups, with 8 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 24 balls. Question 7. 3 times 4 equals what? So the answer is, 3 times 4 is 12. To calculate, we have 3 groups, with 4 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 12 balls. Question 8. 4 times 6 equals what? So, 
So, the answer is, 4 times 6 is 24. To calculate, we have 4 groups with 6 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 24 balls. Question 9. 2 times 2 equals what? So the answer is 2 times 2 is 4. To calculate, we have two groups with two balls each one. So how many balls do we have? Four balls. Question 10. 7 times 2 equals what? So, the answer is, 7 times 2 is 14. To calculate, we have 7 groups, with 2 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 14 balls. Question 11. 3 times 7 equals what? So, the answer is, 3 times 7 is 21. To calculate, we have 3 groups, with 7 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 21 balls. Question 12. 6 times 5 equals what? So the answer is, 6 times 5 is 30. To calculate, we have 6 groups with 5 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 30 balls. Question 13. 5 times 5 equals what? So, the answer is, 5 times 5 is 25. To calculate, we have 5 groups, with 5 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 25 balls. Question 14. 6 times 2 equals what? So, the answer is, 6 times 2 is 12. To calculate, we have 6 groups, with 2 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 12 balls. Question 15. 2 times 9 equals what? So, the answer is, 2 times 9 is 18. To calculate, we have two groups, with 9 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 18 balls. Question 16. 
Nine times three equals what? So the answer is nine times three is 27. To calculate, we have nine groups with three balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 27 balls. Question 17. Six times three equals what? So the answer is six times three is 18. To calculate, we have six groups with three balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 18 balls. Question 18. Eight times five equals what? So the answer is eight times five is 40. To calculate, we have eight groups with five balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 40 balls. Question 19. Four times two equals what? So the answer is four times two is eight. To calculate, we have four groups with two balls each one. So how many balls do we have? Eight balls. Question 20. Nine times eight equals what? So the answer is nine times eight is 72. To calculate, we have nine groups with eight balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 72 balls. How many did you get right? We bet you did awesome. Remember, practice makes perfect. Don't forget to click the like button if you had fun and subscribe so you can join us for even more math quiz adventures. Let's keep the math magic alive.